Hello and welcome to Adam and Grey Thorn. This is a character I've created here and I created it a couple of days ago on July the 2nd, which is Creator's Day in Adam. Yeah, it's the birthday of Thomas Biscop, the creator of Adam, and when you create a character on that day, um, the, the character starts out with Lucky and Fate smiles intrinsically. Uh, so, that's uh, really good. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna edit in a screenshot here to see, so you can see the message we get. Um, it just says that, uh, uh, okay, this was strange. <laughs> but I'll edit in the screenshot here so you will see that message. Anyway, um, me, who is this character? This is a, huh, doesn't say. <laughs> but it's a gnomish thief. Here's our background information. Female gnome thief. Um, mother was a, an unmarried but mighty enchantress. Father was a humble shepherd living near <laughs> our mother's tower. Okay. Um, fascinated by the environment, ever changing wonders of the world. We are born in the month of. The Raven, by the way, so... Uh, hmm, I should look up what that does. Um, blah, 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 broad base of lore, decided to become a thief. Why not? Um, so here we are. Uh, quite low strength at 9. Learning 15 is okay. Willpower 11, well... 13, 19 is good, toughness 13, yeah. We'll hopefully get it up later on. Um, charisma appearance, yeah, it's all fine. We can't carry much because of our low strength, so let's try to train our strength. Um, yeah, and um, the Raven Star sign makes us harder to trick by deceptions. Messengers will reach us faster. Um, we are faster. Speed initially is 112. Companions are more powerful and perception. We got a plus two to perception to start here. Um, and it's a good star sign for a thief according to the wiki. Um, by the way, talents. What did I choose? Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I um, took a boon to the family, charming and air. So we start with a special item, and that special item is super good. Let's um, just go here and have a look at our equipment. So we have a leather armor, plus two protection, gnomish boots with some pluses. And we have a short sword, but we also have a couple of daggers and this dagger which is a beautiful adamantium dagger of penetration. This is a great dagger. Could potentially be uh, a weapon we use the entirety of the game. So anyway, we have some torches, some food and money. So what do we do first? I guess we'll stop by in Terrino. Um, how was our... How, how... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, skills. <laughs> um, alertness, excellent backstabbing is going to be really good when we get it up. Detect and disarm traps, of course, is pretty useful. Um, first aid, gemology, blah, blah, blah. Literacy. Can at least read a little bit. Pick locks and pick pockets is cool. And stealth. And trilquism I've never really <clears throat> um, used much. So uh, anyway, we can take the 
good old puppy quest. Who's in my doggy? La la la. And I guess we want the healing skill more than herbalism. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. So we take the quest from the village elder to rescue the carpenter. Um, let's also stop by the small cave here. Shouldn't stay too long, but I'll take these scrolls. Let's read them. Should be good for training our literacy a little bit, I guess. Um, oh lord. Well, I guess a rat is gonna have to be our first kill. <laughs> Can't run away. Um, okay, it's level two. Um, get three skills to improve. Let's do um, backstabbing. In the f no, wait. Okay, that was <laughs> not what I meant. Anyway, backstabbing. Appraising is quite cool too. That's the skill that. <clears throat> And it gives you um, a chance to kind of know if an item is good or bad or mediocre or whatever. Um, anyway, what else? It's a bit of a waste of a point, so let's... Mm, alertness. Ow! What the crap? <laughs> this is going straight to hell. Um, well, we don't have anything to help us out here. Let's... Come on! <laughs> is this... Are you kidding me? Uh... First, <laughs> pretty much the first thing that happens in this game is that I'm killed by a rat. Well, wait, we can <sighs> pray for some help. <clears throat> but uh, why, why can't I? Um, not the wear rat is gonna fill the entire level with rats. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Jesus, this could have been a really horrible, horribly embarrassing <laughs> thing. Um, okay, let's see. Backstabbing. Um, we don't have a dodge. Sucks. Um, hmm. Okay, detect traps is good and pick pockets. And we got a talent. Yeah, hmm. So what should we do? choose maybe careful just to <laughs> get some more defensive powers carrying capacity that's probably gonna be quite important with low with low uh, strength but it's gonna help us if we die, obviously. Um, more hit points, but it's it's a little three hit points. Heal wounds faster. Um, the health. Mm, let me. 
quickly check here. Healthy. What exactly does it do? Increases natural hit point regeneration rate. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, let's take DV first now. Yeah. skill and we're close to <laughs> dying again uh, oh lord pray the ground rumbles so we have no more prayers until we can get our piety up Jesus, mother of what? <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> she was lucky, fate smiled upon her, and she was killed by a bloody rat. <laughs> Well, I guess the the spawning rats were quite high level because of the small cave. Um, come on. <laughs> this is the <laughs> uh, worst adventure ever. Well, that's it for poor Greythorn. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well thank you for watching and uh, well, I also at least last I checked I saw that the previous video I uploaded was number video number 150 so that's pretty cool and uh, and uh, there I had 70 subscribers so that's also really really great thank you everyone and well i hope you enjoyed this celebratory failure of extreme fail <laughs> uh. goodbye for now